Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be a sinew wrap muck ice dye. This is one of the projects that I tied up off of camera. Super simple. I just grabbed up one of the corners and I started wrapping it with my sinew like I would a geode and just wrapped all the way down diagonally to the other side of the shirt. And I did it super random, just like I would a geode. So some little nubs close together, some far apart, wrinkling up the fabric as I worked. Now I'm rolling this up into like a cinnamon roll or a spiral just to keep the project together so it will fit down inside of my bowl. And make sure you check your containers for cracks, especially if you get them at the dollar store, because you don't want to come back to the project and find that all of your muck water has leaked out onto your floor. Now these are colors from Pro Chemical and Dye, and I've never used them before, so I wanted to try them out. So right now I'm doing the dye under ice method and putting the dye directly on the project. I'd like to give a big shout out to the newest channel member, Debbie Chambers. Thank you so much for becoming a new member to the channel. All of your proceeds will go back into the channel so that I can continue to bring content. And for those of you that are already channel members and continuing to be, thank you so very much. Now, if you're interested in becoming a channel member, down there somewhere by the subscribe button, there's a button where it says join. If you click on that, it'll tell you the details. And if you'd like to become a channel member, that would be totally awesome. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and I add my ice. And I'm sprinkling on a little bit here and there just so I can see what the colors are. Super excited about these. Then you wanna just fill your bowl up with ice. Now you don't need a ton of ice. I like to put enough on there to where the project is covered and I don't see any fabric showing through, but enough to where I'm gonna have some good muck water. And then you wanna just set it and forget it and trust the muck. And it's recommended that you let it batch for at least 24 hours at 70 degrees or higher after the ice melts, but I let my projects go for the full 48 hours. So now it's time for the rinse out and look at all that gorgeous muck water. Yes, you have to pour it down the drain after 48 hours because it's null. There is no longer any chemical reaction between the Procyon dye and the soda ash. So because it was in the muck, I'm giving this one a quick rinse off just to get all that muck water off of it so it's not sloshing around the entire kitchen. All right. Let's talk about the washout process. So you start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric, and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirillon, a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft, which is a professional fabric softener. And you will find the links down below in the description box for both of those and everything else that I use for tie-dye, so check that out. And then I'll put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our sinew wrap muck ice dye after it's been washed and dried. And this shirt is really pretty. I wasn't quite sure what to expect because I've never used these two colors before and I'm pleasantly surprised. And I keep getting the names confused. So this is like the 50th time that I've tried to do this reveal. Okay, Rose Wine is the more magenta of the two colors. It's the darker color and it splits down into the greens and it's really, really pretty. And it reminds me a lot of spicy plum. So I'm not sure if it's necessary to have both of them unless you want to collect all the dye colors like I do. 
And then the old rose is the lighter of the two colors. It's the one that leans more towards the lavender pink. And I'm not exactly sure 100% what it is splitting down into because of the rose wine being so dominant. So I'm going to definitely have to make single color ice dyes of both of these dyes, and I will because I am curious, but I was just so excited to try my new dye out that I like the two names, and so I threw them together on a shirt. Now you can see why I'm calling this shirt just a sinew wrap. It is very similar to a geode in the way that it's made, but there's no circles or bullseyes or like little rock nodes or anything like that. It's just random wavy lines across a shirt. And I really do like to make these. And they're also very quick and easy to tie up. You, like I said, you just start at one corner and wrap all the way down until you're done. And you get really dynamic results. So overall, I'm super pleased with the outcome of the shirt. I love the colors on them. Um, Pro Chemical and Dye, if you're interested in getting these colors. I think I'll put this over in the playlist of their uh, dyes. That way it'll make it easy for you guys to find. But just look at how pretty that is. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!